Four Royal Navy ships led the way in the largest test of international mine hunting forces in the Gulf since the pandemic. More than 700 personnel, sailors, divers and aircrew, from the United Kingdom, United States, Australia and France have taken part in Artemis Trident, a two-week workout testing the ability of the four allied nations to keep sea lanes open. The two-week exercise integrated ships, units and staff from the participating nations to create a potent combined mine hunting task force, even mine warfare vessels, one command ship, a couple of fast patrol boats, three helicopters and three specialist dive teams who can deploy anywhere around the globe. Support vessel Royal Fleet Auxiliary Cardigan Bay acted as flagship throughout as well as home to a Royal Navy command staff who direct United Kingdom mine warfare operations in the Gulf, and a dive team flown out from the United Kingdom to hone their expeditionary skills. Also flying the flag for the United Kingdom were three of the Royal Navy's four mine hunters based in Bahrain, HMS Penzance, HMS Brocklesby and HMS Shoreham. France provided sister mine hunters FS Sophie and Lagel, plus a battle staff and dive team, while staff officers from the Royal Australian Navy were among those choreographing the complex force and manoeuvres. And the United States Navy directing the overall exercise omitted a couple of their Avenger-class mine hunters, which worked side by side with Royal Navy forces based in Bahrain, USS Gladiator and USS Sentry, plus expeditionary mine hunting teams. A couple of MK Vi patrol boats provided protection for the force, supported by helicopters including huge sea dragons which tow minesweeping equipment through the water. Run every two years, Artemis Trident expects participants to clear a path through sea mines in response to a fictitious mining incident, while also defending themselves against threats in the air and on the sea, and providing maritime security for other seafarers. This was the fifth time it's been run and in its 2021 iteration there was a heavy focus on tech, on top of traditional methods as participants tested new techniques and technologies. The Royal Navy's Expeditionary Dive Unit 3, based in Portsmouth, deployed an 11-strong team which worked alongside French and United States counterparts, deploying autonomous underwater vehicles and clearance divers to find and dispose of mines. They set up temporary home in the United States Naval Base in Bahrain, heading out into the exercise area by boats and raiding craft. The exercise provided an excellent opportunity to practice and develop expeditionary mine warfare tactics, techniques and procedures, sharing ideas and experiences between the three nations, said Lieutenant Commander Peter Needle, officer in charge of Expeditionary Dive Unit 3. It will provide valuable lessons learned as the Royal Navy moves towards increasing use of offboard, autonomous systems alongside existing capabilities such as clearance divers. <music> Lieutenant Commander David Bryden, commanding officer of HMS Shoreham embraced the chance to take part in such a varied workout. Opportunities like this to exercise with our international partners are invaluable, it helps to reinforce our collective commitment to safe freedom of navigation on the high seas, he said. Working together with other units is very important for command and control and communications, making sure all of our systems work together. Commander James Lovell, in charge of the United Kingdom Gulf-based mine forces, said the opportunity for such a major collective test with close partners was fantastic. Exercising with our Gulf partners and coalition partners in the region is all about maintaining our military fitness so that we are ready to work together when the time comes. Artemis Trident is even more poignant this year as the United Kingdom is celebrating its 15th year of a continuous mine warfare presence in the Gulf. Royal Navy have six hunt-class mine countermeasure vessels specialize in active mine hunting. They use high-definition sonar to scour the world's seabeds for mines and lost explosives which are then destroyed by the ship's clearance diving teams or Seafox mine disposal system for eliminating hidden danger. The small but extremely effective mine countermeasure vessels boast glass-reinforced plastic hulls to conceal their presence from the threat of sea mines. 
Their sonars are capable of detecting and classifying an object the size of a football up to 1,000 meters. These ships clear the way of mines to allow safe passage for larger forces, swiftly detecting and destroying any hidden dangers. The Royal Navy is world leader in mine countermeasures, having been regularly called upon to deal with mines and other historic ordnance, left over from the Second World War, around the United Kingdom. In recent times, the United Kingdom has been involved in mine hunting operations across the world, including the Gulf and off Libya. When a mine is found, these are then destroyed by the Mine Hunters Clearance Diving Teams or CFOX Mine Disposal System. This is the remotely operated submersible is used to identify the threat of underwater explosives through fiber optic cables from the parent ship. The unit is guided to the target and will then detonate a targeted explosion using a shaped charge to dispose of the mine.